Hey guys, so a few weeks ago I posted a meme on Facebook where a woman described herself as a foster girlfriend. That is, using the language of fostering animals for a few weeks or months until they're ready to move to a permanent home. And this really reminded me of the way that I used to do dating, because I always used to try to be there for the other person so that she could work through whatever emotional issue she was having, and I generally attracted people who had emotional issues. And once they had worked through those, they then left and found someone else. And I wanted to discuss why this happens and why it's really unhealthy to get into this dynamic. So when Freud was creating the discipline of psychoanalysis, he noticed that uh, his patients would transfer onto him the way that they felt about the people in their lives who they had the issues with. For example, a woman might project onto the therapist uh, her feelings towards her father. This was really helpful because it, it was in a safe environment where she could say whatever she needed to say and work through whatever she was feeling. But once those issues were dealt with, the relationship came to an end. And very often we can do the same thing in a relationship where we take on board the problems that are actually with someone else, but we, we become the icon for them. We become the, the substitute. And it's not really something you want to do. It's, if you want a relationship to last, you don't want to become a temporary substitute. But more than this, there is also the issue of simply unbalancing the relationship. Because from my part, I wanted to be totally there for the other person and be really caring and really kind. However, I wasn't doing the same for myself. I was not treating my emotional needs as important as I was treating the other person's. And nothing can grow in an unequal environment. You can't have attraction growing in an environment where someone doesn't feel like you're on the same page as them, where it feels like this person is relating to me in a, in a completely different way than I'm relating to them. And furthermore, it can also happen the other way when someone believes that their place is to try to fix uh, someone and they end up taking a very controlling stance where they might know all of someone's secrets, but the other person feels like, well, this person who knows all my secrets is holding all the power. There are going to be times in a relationship when one person needs more support than the other, and this is completely normal and natural. However, it has to swing both ways in the long term. And if from the very beginning, it's already unbalanced, it's not off to a good start. So whenever you enter a new relationship and continually throughout the relationships you are in, always try to seek balance because this is the only environment in which it can be healthy. This is the only environment in which it can grow. Thank you very much for listening.